Yeah, <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. It is a rough day for me today. We got over 30 inches of snow out here in dirty Jersey, so we got slammed. So I have spent the last four hours of my morning just shoveling my property, and I am tired. So we'll have a cheers to that. We got a Brooklyn East IPA here. If you haven't had this beer, try it. It is really, really good. That's amazing. So we got some big news today. Harley Davidson will be dropping a new bike. As soon as I stepped inside from shoveling the whole morning, I saw my text messages and I saw that my buddy Front Rider has sent me a little text and with the link to all this uh, information here. So I'm gonna be linking that link down below. I'm gonna be sharing some of the information with you guys right now. But if you wanna go ahead and look on yourself, then you can do that. Link is gonna be down below in the description box. So the big, big news today, Harley Davidson kinda try to keep this behind closed doors, but we were able to find this information out due to the EPA uh, books, everything that's being registered, you know, you're able to go on there and see exactly what's going on with these companies, everything. And that's what this article is about. So what I'm gonna do right now real quick is just read this to you, and then we'll get into the discussion, the topic, and what I think from my thoughts on what this bike exactly is going to be. I think I might need another drink before this. Oh, that's so good. All right, so here I have Harley Davidson announces its 2021 touring lineup last month, but we can't confirm the company has one more model up its sleeve. And we're not talking about the Pan America. Harley Davidson 2021 model virtual presentation included a teaser image of a fuel tank console with the word revival. That sounds, that sounds like something throwback. Like they're about to just, like they went in the little treasure chest and dig, you know, dug something out and be like, you know what, we're gonna refresh this. We're gonna continue. Okay, so Motorcycle.com can now confirm that Harley-Davidson Revival will be the 2021 touring model powered by the Milwaukee 8 107 twin cam engine. So we know it's gonna have a 107. Um, we know that it's gonna be on the touring lineup. The confirmation comes via the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, which has certified the revival alongside its returning touring models. The following includes both the M8-107 and the 1014 displacement. Barney Davidson typically reserves a large engine for the specials. We can assume the 2021 revival will use the 107, which is 1746cc's version of the Milwaukee 8 as the electric glide standard, road glide, road king, and street glide. That's all the information they were ready to give us right now. So what I want to do right now is just that I kind of want to open up your mind real quick. Open up my mind and let's start kind of talking about this. What could this be? So revival, the name. The name alone screams out a thousand words. Fro Rider brought up a good, um, a good point. He said, you know what? This could be the Electra version of the Road Glide. So you know how the Electra is like the, you know, just the bare bone Street Glide? This could be the bare bone Road Glide. I said, yeah, that could be it. But I really don't know if Harley Davidson wants to flood the market with a bunch of like, bare bone stock models because we already have the standard for the soft tails the electric glide for the baggers would there be another bagger just like the electric glide i don't know what i'm thinking it might be a revival of an old model a new version of something old a mini bagger so could my prayers be answered can we have an official mini bagger on the harley davidson lineup could this be the new emergence of the FXRT fairing, could they be bringing this back? I just had this discussion with Jerry in the last video that we posted up together and we mentioned that in there. I mentioned that. And I thought it would be a great idea with everything going on right now, how popular that fairing is, how Harley Davidson could capitalize on this idea right now and bring that back, modernize it, Make it better, more pockets, a little more technology into it, make it a little more presentable from the front. From the outside, it's a beautiful thing. I don't think they need to change anything drastically. It's just on the interior part where the cockpit is at, which I think needs to be redesigned. And I think that's something that could happen. I could be wrong. This is on the bagger lineup. So could this be the entry level bagger that we're gonna have now? besides the electric glide. That's, I mean, entry level is the only thing I'm thinking about. 
We're talking about 107 here, not 114. So it could be the entry level. I'm thinking maybe 19.5, 19.899 starting price point for a mini bagger kind of. Drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. I am super, super intrigued. I'm gonna try to dig up some stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you're into this type of content, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, subscribe. Hit that bell button for your Harley Davidson news, reviews, installs, and a bunch of stuff. I got my 2020 Lowrider S behind me and next to me, my 2015 Dyna Lowrider. So, ton of content. If this is your first time on my channel, check some of that stuff down below. I got some pretty good playlists for you to watch. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Let the force be with you. And like always, ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.